And we're back with Guitans, the Shishitan, an energetic devil trainee. Okay, it's mischievousness that never... Wait, it's mischievousness never, that never goes away even after many a scolding is also a matter of concern for itself. That was a really wonky sentence. Wonky! I like Guitans. I think they were introduced mm. in 3? I can't remember. I know it was either 3 or 4. Um, but I like them. I mean, I think they're just... They are neat. They're really interesting. I really liked how they did the effect with the tail looking like the ears and everything like that. I just like them. But, they could, you know, I like the Garwin okay, too. I think they did a good job with them. I like the puppy paw effect they did. The Gaiden. Although trying very hard to become a mature devil by causing many a trouble, its bad intentions are always unintentionally appreciated. A trainee devil monster with still a lot to learn. So, um, tries to trip people up, but only helps. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of how they... I think it was introduced in 3, because a lot of the monsters that were introduced in 3 looked really good in the cartoony cell shading, and Guyton was one of them, and he didn't translate too well over here. I, he's not horrible by any means. I still really like him, but I think he did better when, in 3. The Maz Tan. It has, no, it has no doubt that when it grows up, it'll become a Raiden. And so indulges in bodybuilding, but it's best kept quiet that it's already mature and hasn't become what it hoped to become. Aww. Yeah, not really a fan of this one. Is it a baby baby river bird? I was curious on what he had spikes. He has no spikes. His ears just get really big. Unfortunately, I can't, like, stop the animation. So we'll just pull back out and give him a good look around here. I like their harpoons are all different too. Like he's got like a little stabby jabby uh -huh. javelin. I was trying to say javelin, I said jabby instead. <laughs> jabby limb. The Moonitan, a nice monster emanating a like scent. It is actually very hardworking, but it's often misunderstood because of how it looks. One of the very few monsters, in my opinion, that actually looks good being Sub Mochi. Mm hmm. Actually, yeah, does I like his little Triforce thingy there, his trident. I don't want Triforce. Trident. I like him. Yeah. Never had one, but I don't think he'd be... I think he'd be pretty well balanced. The Halloween. Because it has been wearing a pumpkin over its head ever since it was born, it has not yet seen its own face. Visible through the gap are small and cute. And quite cute. Oops. Cute! I didn't mean to do that. Is it like cute or like too cute? Oh, Mumford, did you fall asleep? Again, I like this design. I think they did a good job. I like the little trident again. They did a kind of make it Halloweeny. I don't know if that'd be the best mix because I mean it'd be focused more on defense, which Guidance aren't really well known for. But the left oh Lefreshitan, a Lefreshitan fond of sun and light sunlight. It says the best moment of its life is when sunbathing, sucking honey from the top of its flower. What a carefree monster. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of um, those dragons in that dragon book series I was reading. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's a bee! Oh, Yeah, yes you it see, is. it's like a little bee for his stick. Oh man, see, those little details is what I like about some of these monsters. Look at his leaf ears are really good too. Mm-hmm. You can see the veins running through it. I should also mention, <laughs> we've since moved since the last time we recorded the major set of videos, like with Durhan. So we're actually way closer to the TV. <laughs> it's just huge looking now. Now in my IMAX. It does feel like an IMAX. The Brin. A monster loving to swim, and although it has wings to fly, it spends much of its year underwater. It is said that it has the ability to communicate via ultrasonic sound waves like dolphins. I like it. I like it, yes. This is one of my favorite ones. And he's got like a little stone spear. You see that little shell spear. Serrated. Yeah. Shark teeth, I guess. One that would of my, hurt. This is one of my favorite subs, actually, because they, they, the their weaknesses is kind of like life. Is it one of their weaknesses? And so the, the Lazone, someone actually recently tried to help me pronounce that. Where's my iPad? I think I might still have that notice on here. Maybe not. Oh wait, here we go. Oh no, I don't have it. I was like, because I get an I get iPad comment notices, and I was like, and I was sitting there trying to pronounce it over and over, like he was trying to be like, this is how you pronounce it. I'm like, oh no, no, I can't remember. <laughs> the Gilolighten, the Gilolighten, Gilo, it sounds like guillotine. <laughs> it's big predatory eye eyes, lock onto enemies from far away, but on the downside, they seem to catch a lot of eyes. I don't see another one. Is there another one? 
Nope. Nope. The eyes have it. Let's check out his little stick. It's just a very simple spear, it looks like. He stole an arrow. Actually, for being sub Suezo, it doesn't look that creepy. It could yeah. have done a way... They could have made him creepier by having eyes all over the place, so... Has a little tendril up front. Oh, on his head, uh -huh. yeah. A little antenna. Jet sub Zan. A cool jet rare... A cool jet rare amongst the species of Guyton known for its naughtiness. Okay, whatever. A loner that says very little has problems with darkness and cannot walk alone in the dark. It is a very edgy monster. That, yeah. I just don't like things that are sub Zan. They're just... Too hard to see amongst other things. It's too hard to see and they just tried so hard. You might as well save sub model. That's all they did. It's just replaced. I love this, this pokey stick though. It's an axe. Yes. I like that. Actually, hold on a second. I was curious if the little spikes would grow or not. Nice touch. The Metalion. Metalion? A nocturnal monster that causes mischief to people throughout the night. It's fickle and does this and does some farm work at times, earning some affection. I know what they were going for, but I'm just not a fan. Oh, it's mm. see-through. That's a nice touch. Got a little trident there. Bum. I think Bum. they did a good Bum. design. I'm just not a fan of it personally. Mm-hmm. Boo! A monster that has come from a far east, devoting itself to scaring people. The bandana around its head is a symbol of proof of it winning the championship to scare people. Uh-huh. Interesting. It's just basically a floaty ghost with a little... Oh, he's kind of got like one of those like wizard wands. Ah. Interesting. He wants his mummy. <laughs> Battle rocks! A battle rocks with an iron body loves nothing but battles. Battle rocks, but it only takes on opponents that are equal to or stronger than itself in combat. Does not like bullying the weak because it's I, battle of rocks. I remember Golem from the sea. I love this is one of my favorite golems. I love the design they did for him. I mean, it's very simple but effective. See, they've got like a shield on one side, mm -hmm. and they got the centurion kind of thing going. Get back. I just fall to pieces when I'm sad. Yeah, so we subbed her hand. Poseidon. It is the only one which is good at swimming among all the golems. It is fairly good at work underwater, but it sometimes forgets to breathe and starts drowning. <laughs> yep, very simple design. This is very constant between like all the games. You take the basic golem design and just give him this swirly effect to make him see through. I like it. I like it too. I think they did a good job, and of course, it's always a really good mix because it just makes him like, oh, look at that, the high defense. It's ridiculous. It's almost level three. Gigabio, a giant monster with large fangs and a purple body. It actually likes to play with kids, but often has the kids left in tears because it, of its looks and it eats them. Oh, I like how it has like the effect of the, the chest there like, having a mouth. Yep, simple design. Works well. A lot of the golems are very simple designs. Golem. 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 With its rocky skin, many are afraid of this monster, but it's really pretty gentle and doesn't even like violence. But don't get it mad, a rock's fists will fly. I thought I said rock fry. fists will fly. Simple design. They don't really change the golems over the course of the games. I think three probably had the most crazy versions of the golems. But then again, 3 was just different in a lot of ways. Gobi, the ultimate weapon made by the ancients, modeling Golem. Presently, however, its full strength cannot be exerted, so there's peace for now. Yeah, you guys know I love stuff that's part Hengar. They, they almost always do. Oh, I like that. Almost always do a good job doing that. Very simple, yet effective. Actually, have we seen any of the animations? I can't remember. Yeah, I can do them again. Because you right. said he fell apart. Oop. Oh, yeah, that's right. They just weren't as memorable as some of the others. Ah! Eagle King. Eagle King. The Eagle King has huge rock talons to grab its opponents with. It loves high places and dreams of flying through the sky one day. It might have to die at first, though. Oh, die it. I totally read die, and I was like, what? Some rough ridges. I really like this design. You can name it Ruffles. It has ridges. 
I don't think I, there's any of the golems I hated so far. Mochi Monk. Never mind. The Mochi Monk may look a little frilly or frivolous, but deep down, he's all man. He sits in calm meditation, quietly contemplating the voices of nature as a man. As a man. Look at that stubble on his face. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a you've been looking recently. Stubble. Yay, quarantine. Real men grow beards. <laughs> Pink Golem. Pink Golem is the most beautiful golem of them all. By observing the flowers, it tries to maintain and improve its beautiful heart. <sighs> I love that they kept the idea of having a heart shape on it. I oh. think that was in a couple of the other designs. It has bosom. Little, little wings. Oh, he does have a bosom. I didn't notice that until he said something. Again, good design. I like it. Hey, Gumford. You woke up, buddy. Titan. Ugh. Everybody knows how much Titans love curry. Some even get side jobs at curry restaurants. And what do they spend their earnings on? Why, curry, of course. Well, that one finally wins as being the creepiest. I mean, I love the Suezo sticking out their tongues on the side and and everything, but the, the teeth, I think, are a bit much. I, I love the Suezo sticking out their tongues on their shoulders. I'll say no to the rest of it. Let's go. <laughs> Jailkeeper. The scientists rumor that the reason for its like for darkness is because it was given birth to fulfill its purpose as a jail guard. Its fondness for darkness is a legacy. Does it walk hand in hand with Gar the Garu Ripper or Jokers? Yeah, it's just... Ugh. It's not bad. It's not as bad as the Swayzo, but... Interesting. I have evil eyes. Butcher King. A character with a passion for battles more than other golems. With a very wild character. It also possesses a degree of mischievousness. And its fickleness is unequaled in comparison. Even compared to... <laughs> He's got hairy arms. Ah, it is hairy arms. Yeah, you got hairy arms. Boys with arms! <laughs> I think that's the last one. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not. Big Tokobot. A Karakuri combination type Tokobot. Its firm body deflects all attacks. Strong strength from eight bots. But its slow movement can be life-taking. I'm kind of hoping that's not coming over the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got some loud music going on outside. I like the Tokobot. I I don't know if he's based off. What isn't there a game like with Minibot? I don't know if he's based off anything or not. You guys like, let like me the know. Man of the, Iron, the Iron Giant movie. Yeah, he does kind of look like the Iron Giant, doesn't he? Hey, hey kids, quiet down out there. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll see you guys next time when we do the hairs. Bye for now.